open AAA repair is becoming a more frequent operation again, so you need to know some of the common complications. We classify complications of open AAA repair into general complications which can occur with any operation, vascular complications which can occur with any major vascular procedure, and open AAA specific complications. General complications which can occur with any procedure include bleeding, infection such as wound infection or urinary tract infection, venous thromboembolism, hypersensitivity reactions, chronic pain and scarring. Next, you have the complications which may occur with any major vascular procedures. So after an open AAA repair, there's a risk of a heart attack, which is about 1 in 50, a major disabling stroke, risk being about 1 in 100, renal failure requiring permanent dialysis, again a risk of about 1 in 100, and death, generally from a heart attack or a stroke, the risk being about 1 in 20. Finally, then, we have open AAA repair specific complications. These include pneumonia, colonic ischemia, paralytic ileus, acute limb ischemia, and in the long term, incisional hernias. Pneumonia is one of the most common complications we encounter in patients who have had an open AAA repair. The repair requires a long midline incision, usually extending up to the xiphi sternum in order to gain enough room to cross clamp the aorta. And like all upper midline incisions, pain may lead to poor chest expansion when the patient breathes in and out. They then develop atelectasis, which predisposes them to pneumonia. A good epidural significantly reduces the risk. When patients have a chest infection after a AAA repair, they are predisposed to develop a paralytic ileus. So you may be called to see one of these patients postoperatively because they have developed abdominal distension. Typically, the abdomen is soft and non-tender in examination, and you can hear no bowel sounds because the small bowel has ceased to function. As a rule, the paralytic ileus will settle as the general condition of the patient improves and as their chest infection resolves. During an open abdominal aortic aneurysm repair, the inferior mesenteric artery is generally sacrificed, and occasionally this can lead to a critical reduction in blood supply to an area of the sigmoid colon, causing colonic ischemia. This will often just manifest itself as a rising lactate and some abdominal distension, so you always need to keep it in the back of your head when a patient has abdominal distension after a AAA repair. I always warn my open aneurysm patients there is about a 1 in 100 chance they may end up requiring a stoma postoperatively. Open AAA patients often have underlying symptomatic or asymptomatic peripheral arterial disease, so they are at increased risk of acute limb ischemia. They may develop an embolus which can travel from the aortic graft down the leg and lodge distally, or a pre-existing stenosis may thrombose in situ. The result can be acute or acute on chronic leg ischemia in the hours after the initial operation, and unless recognised and dealt with promptly, the result can be limb loss. In the long term, patients who have an open abdominal aortic aneurysm repair are at quite high risk of developing an incisional hernia. Incisional hernias occur in this group at a higher rate than other groups of patients undergoing a laparotomy. It may manifest many years following the original repair and may need to be repaired with some form of prosthetic mesh. The revision notes as always are available at vasculartutor.com to download if you prefer to read rather than watch a video. And don't forget to throw us a like and subscribe for notification of new videos.